with the release of the new Shades of Morton minigame, I've decided I'm going to buy a hundred Burium remains. And to be able to burn those, you need to have a hundred redwood pyrologs. You have to have redwood pyrologs to be able to burn the remains. And these remains are the ones which will allow you to get gold keys. And the gold keys allow you to get access to the, the new prayer clothing that's been released. And each one of those, once you got once you get all four pieces, basically you you end up with five percent um, chance of uh, keeping a bone rather than actually using it up when you're when you're doing your prayer training. So I've bought a hundred of each, and we're going to see what we can get. And I'll go through how much it will cost me. Uh, so the the hundred redwood pyre logs. They cost me four thousand, sorry, three thousand four hundred sixty-one GP each. So that's a total of four, uh, three hundred forty-six thousand one hundred. And then the Urian remains were ten thousand two hundred six each, which is a total of one million twenty thousand six hundred. Uh, and it's one for one. So we're just going to take a couple. Yeah, it's twelve of each. And we'll go burn these, and we'll see what we can get. And I'm just going to keep, I'm going to keep banking until I've got all of them done, and then, uh, yeah, then we'll go open up the chest and we'll see what we can get out of it. I cannot, I don't think I'm going to be making profit in this whatsoever, um, but you never know. I just like yeah. Gold key black. And then we're getting gold key crimson. I didn't think that this was always going to give me gold keys. Gold key crimson. But yeah, just keep repeating this. Another crimson. Crimson again. Gold key black. Now we've got brown. Another brown one. It's a shame that it's a three click thing rather than a single click. Crimson. Yeah, so I can put the logs on. I have to click on the logs. I have to click on the remains. I can just click on the funeral pyre to light it once it's done. Now we've got a purple. And crimson again. Uh, going to the bank, which is down here. So we can deposit all of these, and we just withdraw twelve again. Get X so we keys. I want the remains. So yeah, just keep rinsing and repeating until we get all the keys. So we're going to end up with a hundred gold keys, all different colours. I wonder if the colours actually mean anything. I think the keys despawn after 30 seconds. If you don't pick it up. Ah. So we got 4,100 coins there rather than a key. And coins again. So I might have been getting unlucky there. No, sorry, I might have been getting very, very lucky. Not sure. 
it doesn't tell me what the rates are on it, so I don't know. But I know coins are supposed to be common, so the fact that we haven't had many coin drops, I'm uh, feeling is good. But I don't know what the difference between the keys are, other than that it's access to different rooms downstairs. Coins again. So the coins can actually be anywhere from 2,000 to 7,000 um, with these remains. We much prefer getting the keys because each key, I believe, gives a role for something much better than anywhere from anywhere up to 7k usually. Okay, so we get rid of all this. Clear that. And that and twelve twelve. Okay. So there is an order of key which is likely to give better treasure. And that is red being the worst. Uh followed by brown. Then crimson is in the middle. Black is second best and purple is the best. So basically we really want our purple keys for the best chance of better loot basically. Purple keys also have the highest chance of uh, receiving clue scrolls and this is also the only place you can get the Amulet of the Damned which according to the wiki is a common drop um, so if I can get a few of those, then I could make my money back. Um, but I've got to get quite a bit to get my money back. But we'll see what we can get out of it, and we'll we'll look at the uh the profit or the presumed loss once I uh once I've finished all this. I am preferring getting keys than cash because it's the keys that when I lock the uh the prayer the prayer clothing for me. I think we've only seen one purple so far. Can also get clue scrolls, but I haven't well, I could do a clue scroll first, maybe. I'm saving up for a master, and uh, I need another medium to to be able to get the master off of Watson. So, I've currently got an elite in the bank. Whether or not I'll do that before... Yeah, I probably won't. I can't be bothered. I just want to see what I can get out of this first. Uh, the red. Presumably they're going to be the most common ones, so I reckon I'm going to have the most of those in my bank. Five thousand four hundred. It's really irritating having to click on the on the actual remains. It's another red key. Crimson key. Yeah, with um, if you've got the Mortania hard diary completed, you get 50% more prayer XP for lighting the pyres. And if you've got the Mortania elite, you get 50% more um, fire making XP for lighting the pyres. And I am wearing my fire making pyromancer outfit um, for more XP. Even though I got 99, it just it's for leadable purposes. Crimson key. Only seen one purple so far. So there we go. That's what we want to see. We want to see those purples. 
don't want to be seeing that. Don't want that cash, especially when it's that bad. Brown key. Crimson key. And keep carrying keys that aren't reds, then I'm going to be happy. Jinxed it. Black, okay, nice. Brown. Another brown key. Crimson. Another crimson. Crimson again. Crimson again. Red. I might um I might add up the cash after I've recorded this. Just so I can put like a comment or something. Let you know how much cash we actually got total. Black, I'll take a black. Crimson. Black. And a red shit one. Let's see if we get the purple on this last one. Black, we well, can take that. I'm happy with blacks. Crimson. So it's six thousand seven hundred there. Brown key. Red key. Purple, nice. Happy with purple. Very happy with purple. It's the third one we've seen now. Got a broken coffin. Anyway, so we can dump all that in the back in the bank and we'll grab some more remains. And what we're gonna get? A red one. Crimson key. And another crimson key. Black or purple? Purple, purple. Crimson again. The purples would be good. Okay. Six thousand eight hundred. Maximum is seven thousand, so take that, but I prefer keys. Purple key, yes. But it's a smile on my face that does. The fourth one I believe. Red key, worst one. Black key, take that. Crimson key. Another crimson. Purple again. Got two purples in an invent. That's nice. That is really good. And last one, crimson again. Okay. Right, get these last four. Right, so. Last four. Six thousand two hundred. Crimson. Crimson again. Last chance. And crimson again. Okay. So we go to the bank. So after one hundred Orium remains, we have got sixteen gold the red ones, sixteen red gold keys. 16 brown gold keys, 38 crimson gold keys, 11 blacks, and 5 purples. Now, given that the order is from worst to best, I think we've done pretty well getting 38 crimsons. Um, I don't know what the rarities are on these, but given that crimson is in the middle, I'm very happy with that. So, I haven't been in the catacombs yet, but I believe... Each room is different, so um, they're all different coloured rooms. So I think if I just take these in their colours and go in, I think it should be okay. So we're going with the red ones first. Keep going north, next to where the guy was with the coffin. And I need to look for something like locks in there so I can repair that coffin. But we go in these wooden doors here. And... We are going to be getting attacked by stuff. Steel. So I need to find where I'm going. So I'm actually going this way. This is a solid gold door. And then when I'm in here, I'm 
I go in the middle. And then it's all color coded. So, okay, so I can open this one here. We got Dragon Long Sword. Don't know what that is. Flam Tear Bag, okay. We'll have a look at it all afterwards. Bloody notes. Okay, that's nice. I got a amulet the dam there. I don't know what the flam tear bag is, but I'll look that up. So, from the red ones, we have just ended up with. I don't know what the bloody notes are either. We've ended up with 363,964 just from the reds, and these are the worst ones. So, that flam tear bag is a bag that can store the supplies used in the Shades of Mortar minigame. Uh, basically, timber beams, limestone bricks and swamp paste, and it's for when you rebuild the temple. Our next key is going to be the brown ones. I didn't see any locks in there. Not even mentioned on the wiki whatsoever. I think it's going to be inside the chests. I'm not sure about that. Oh, yes. It's uncommon. They're worth 70,000, so I presume you can actually buy them. The bloody notes that I got last time, I'm getting attacked, were... Gives player a rune scroll of blood bark. Okay, so that's a new item. That's actually so you can you can make your blood bark armor and stuff. We're now going to go for the brown chests. I got another amulet of the damned. I'm actually feeling a bit more confident about getting my money back now. What's that? A fine cloth. Oh, our first piece of the prayer, um, prayer armor. I got Zelot's boots. It's really good. Very, very happy with that. We'll grab our crimson locks, uh, crimson keys. Very happy with the uh, Zelot's boots. I don't know what the fine cloth is. Fine cloth. So fine cloth. Oh, okay. So that's material that's used for making split bark armor. This time it's crimson keys. Fine cloth is worth about four thousand five hundred on the grand exchange at the moment. So we are on crimson now, which is the bright red ones. And I've got too much stuff on me that I can't even pick everything up. Might keep the swamp paste on the floor. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I think I think we might be okay. I dropped the death room to pick up the coins. Not this one paste the coins. And then I am gonna I'm gonna try and get everything. So I'm just going to pick up some paste, drop that, drop that, pick that up, I'm going to teleport back out, yeah, on the floor still, I can grab that, okay, let's keep opening, let's see, spatel stuffs, okay, okay, so you can actually get attacked while you're in here, level 34, undead zillot, did not expect that at all. 
bleach bones. I haven't seen those before. Don't know what bleach bones are. I can't trade them on the Grand Exchange. Keep those and I'll um, look them up. Edward Logs. Another, oh, another amulet of the damned. Another undead zealot here. So I'm looking up the undead zealots now, and <laughs> there's no nothing on the uh, wiki about them whatsoever. Okay, doesn't even mention that they drop these bleach bones. So. I don't know what they do. Okay, so when that undead zealot comes up, it says you trigger a trap awakening a zombie. I have got 99 thieving, so I'm not sure why I'd be triggering any traps whatsoever. But Okay, so we're still on crimsons. There's our golden lock. Got another amulet of the damned. Okay, and we got three fine cloth out of that, and we got our next zealot piece there we got the helmet so we just need the body and the legs now i think we will keep it separate i could take them together but we'll do it separately build the suspense you know so we got 11 black keys and five purples so i've got 16 chances more to hopefully get the two last zealot pieces but the black and the purples are are the best for doing it Give us the best luck. So the black chests are over here. Okay, so we got Tree Wizard's journal, and I presume that's going to give us a card. Oh, nice, another amulet of the damned. That Tree Wizard's journal is going to give us a way to make split bark armor, um, but sw swamp bark. Okay, so we've only got five keys remaining now, which are our purple ones, to get our last two pieces of zealot armor. I, uh, I'm not sure we're going to get it, but we can only keep our fingers crossed. Oh, this is intense. Come on, five keys left. Please, please, please can I have those two pieces. Right, the first one is giving us shit, three battle staffs. That's also crap. Not great. Shit. Last one. Who said the purples are the best? Okay, another golden lock there. Right, so I'm going to have to do it again to get those last two pieces, but I will... Yeah, I'm not going to do that in this video. We will just go through everything I got here. So if I open up my books that I got, read this, and I assume nothing else is going to fall out of it, and I read this one. Thing. So yes, so I actually got. 1.84 million although we're going to use one of the locks so it's 1.775 million from a 1.366 million investment which profits profit and we got two pieces of zealot armor as well so that is nice let's go get our golden coffin presume i only need the one
And that doesn't include actually the coins that I got from from actually burning the pyres, which I'm assuming it was about 40k. Um, but I will look that up and add it on to the to the price. So if we go locks, do five. We've now got a gold coffin, which we can wear. And that allows us to store, open it up. Yeah, it's just, oh, it's just, okay, so it means when you pick up the things, you'll fill it already. So it's actually a very good way of, um, I can close it again. Yeah, you can go sit down there and you can just come out with, what I bought them for what? just over 10,000 each. So if I can fill this with 28 remains, you can fill it with 280k. That's pretty good. Just sit down there, just killing those things. But yeah, that's it for the video. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please like, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.